So we can break a scale down into little parts. One of these is called a triad, and basically you take the first note, the third note, the fifth note, and that's called an arpeggio. These three notes are called a triad. So we can do this with all the, all the different um, scales we've worked on. So for instance, the D, one, open, three, open, four. So once again, it's D, F sharp, A, D. Coming down, D, A, F sharp, D. We can do a G major triad by using the same notes, the same fingering. G, B, open, G. G, D, three, or B, open. That's also a G major triad or a G major arpeggio. Same thing with the lower string. That's a C major arpeggio. So let's see what that sounds like with the bow. And again, remember to keep your thumb attached to the back. And let's try it on the C string. Remember, when I'm playing on my third or fourth finger, I try and keep all the fingers down and not let the ones that aren't playing fly around. Not this. So we want to keep our fingers curled and down. So that's your basic arpeggio. So now let's try and play row, row, row your boat. One, two, three, four. Now you notice we're using slightly different rhythms, which you're probably aware of, and they're called triplets. That's when I play three notes to the beat. And you can also hear their triplet rhythm in the beginning. There you have Row 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 Your Boat. <laughs>